hello. I've had a few questions recently about the photos in my planner. I have been using the Canon Selfie for quite a while. Um, I have the uh, Selfie CP 1200, uh, which prints out your, your usual six by four uh, photo prints. It's a really good quality. Um, it's not heaps portable. It, um, it is plug-in, so this is one that just sits on my desk. Um, it's, yeah, not one that I sort of keep keep close by. Um, I really have to be settled somewhere to do my planning and to use it, which is fine. It's really, really well worth it, and I still use this one uh, on occasion. But I, I've i also used the Sprocket, um, the HP Sprocket, and I personally am not a huge fan of zinc printing. I just find that it either puts a yellow or a blue tone over, depending on which device you have. Um, and I'm a little bit fussy about my photos. I am a complete amateur, of course, but I just, I really like the color to look like what I saw with my own eyes. So I prefer the Canons because they are just much truer in color to the photo that is on the screen um, after I've taken it. So this is the one that I have been using of late. This is the Canon Selfie Square and this is completely portable. So I guess for reference um, in size, let me pull out. Um, so this is my Wonderland uh, V6. So it's a little bit smaller than that. Um, size wise. Um, so yeah, it's still quite big and it's definitely bigger than the sprocket, but um, I find it worth it for the, the quality of the prints. So uh, yeah, now I am due to replace the ink cartridge and the paper today. So I thought I would just take this opportunity to show you guys how it's done. Um, I'm sure there are tons of videos out there already, but I've had some questions. Um, the other thing that I will say is for those who maybe don't know what I'm talking about, uh, the photos that I put in my planner, I tend to print out four on one page and then I end up with these tiny little square prints um, that fit really nicely. There's one where I put it in the columns. Um, so here's last week in my planner and you can see that it fits just really nicely in the 3.5 centimeter columns here. So it's just, yeah, I love how beautifully that fits. So, yeah. so the replacements come in these little boxes. Uh, they come with 20 sheets of paper and an ink cartridge, which covers you for those 20 sheets. So the 20 sheets come in two separate little packages. Um, they just look like this. They've got Canon written on one side and then blank on the other, which is the side that gets printed on. Um, and this is the ink cartridge that comes with it. If you have used the larger selfie before, then you will know that it's really similar. So, um, let me fiddle with that. So this is the larger canister and um, that's your size difference. So cute. <laughs> Actually, that really just um, <laughs> made me happy to see how cute and tiny that was. I don't know. When you've been using something, everything smaller is, um, yeah, a novelty. So I will need these today. So you can see um, on the, the selfie square, you've got the side where the prints come out. And unlike the larger one, which does feed it out both sides so this opens up and the cassette goes in here um which i don't have nearby but i'm sure you've seen it before or you can look it up um and it feeds out both sides so it goes back and forth um and you really have to be careful that your desk is clear which is fine it's just something to be aware of this one doesn't do that this just feeds straight out the front sucks it back in pushes it back out, sucks it in. It does, it does that four times because it goes through the three colors and then it does a fourth clear protective overlay. Um, so yes. So in this one to replace it, you want to just 
push that to the side. I'm not sure if you saw that. You just slide it that way and then the old one comes out or if you're putting it into the first one. I like to make sure that when I pull it out, I put it down the same way that I found it just because I'm a bit silly sometimes and I get myself confused. So you just rip open the plastic. You don't have to be too precious about the, the cassette. So I like to double check how I've done that and then, and then just pop it in and it just clicks in. It's super easy. So that is how you do an ink cassette replacement. And you can dispose of it. Okay, to change the paper, you just have to turn it over and there is a little button on the back that says push. So you push and you slide. I tend to push with my, my thumb on the bottom as well. So it's push and slide. I didn't even need to that time. Um, and in here, it actually gives you the instructions on which way the paper goes up. So you can hopefully see there that it the, um, the side with the writing goes on the top and then the, your image to be printed. Um, sorry, the side that is blank where the image will be printed, that goes face down. Now, in my experience, it is well worth making sure that you do not touch the blank side because it can leave some marks on your your um, your printed image. So I'm always just a little bit careful. Um, I actually haven't, I'll be honest, I actually haven't tested it with the selfie square, but I just know from using the larger one that that's the case. Um, and I would assume because it's the same technology and the same um, printing method that it would be the same. I just haven't risked it, so. Um, so. Once again, I rip that open and I'm holding the plastic still and not touching. You can see I use it almost like a handle. You can also touch the edges. So I sometimes do that, sometimes not, depending on how coordinated I'm feeling. And then it just slides in like that. Get rid of the rubbish and then push it back in. And there you have it, replaced ink cartridge and paper. Now I am filming on my phone, which makes it really hard to show you exactly what's happening in the app. If you're really interested, I can make some efforts to have that happen. Um, but there are some other videos out there that will show you how to do that. Um, but I guess I'll show you one print uh, just to give you an idea. So. Um, you just hold this button down until the light turns on. It will flash for a little bit. Um, and then you use the app to go in and select your photos and hit print. And then away you go. So the yellow comes out first and then it sucks it back in. And you get your red and your magenta. Finally, your blue. It'll look very much like the colors at this point. And then it does that final fourth overlay, which is protective. And I think they say that it protects it for up to like a hundred years and it does make it waterproof. And I've absolutely tested that um, unintentionally. Um, and then you pull it out and you have yourself a Polaroid size photo. So yeah, you can, obviously, if you just do one image, you might want to keep it like that. If you want to keep it as the four, you can. I, because they fit so beautifully in those columns, um, I often just do one a week, um, just with sort of my favorite shots from the week and stick them on the days that they happened. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you have found this interesting or helpful. Um, I, I really think when it comes down to printed photos, it, it's personal choice and I completely understand why people go for things like the sprocket or, um, you know, the, the Polaroid or the Ivy as well. Canon has a zinc called the Ivy uh, and, you know, it, 
if you like that kind of filter and that coloring over the top, it just, you know, it does have a really nice vintage feel to it. So I, I really do understand that. Um, so for me, this just comes down to personal preference. Um, just the, the quality of the photos and the way that it maintains the color. Um, I like more of a, um, a white background. Um, so yeah, I, I don't love the, the vintage feel as much. There are times and places for it. Absolutely. I will agree with that. But yeah, so hopefully you have an idea on how this works and whether it would be a good fit for you and your style and what you would like. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to drop a comment. Um, I will do my best to get to you as quickly as possible. Hope you're going okay. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.